When we talk about IOCs, they can be divided into three types. Atomic indicators are static evidence like IP addresses, domain names, URLs, et cetera. Information that's easily observed in traffic as it flows across the network in both unencrypted and often encrypted traffic. IP headers, TCP headers, HTTP headers, DNS requests, et cetera. The information is easily extracted from the network and then compared to a list of known bad or suspicious indicators to generate an alert. Then we have computed indicators. They're derived from calculations like JA3s or file hashes or certificate hashes. This type of indicator is more involved in that it requires additional functions to be enabled on a sensor or possibly a SIM to perform additional data collection and calculations. For example, to calculate a file hash, you, have, you first have to collect all the packets related to the file, reassemble the file, and then calculate the hash value. The results of these calculations are then compared to a list of known bad or suspicious indicators to generate an alert. And the third type is behavioral indicators. These are the most complicated in that they may include a combination of zero or more atomic or computed indicators. This type of indicator is related to behavior or TTPs and requires Zeek scripts, Sericata rules, or similar methods to identify them. They require tools that have a knowledge of the network and can identify detailed traffic patterns. When the pattern matches a known bad or suspicious pattern, an alert is generated.